good morning students sai ram i am your anumes students this session i am going to teach your maths the new chapter i am going to start today the name of the chapter is integers lesson number is 3 and the name of the chapter is integers children first i would like to recall what you had studied about your fifth standard what you had studied about your about in your fifth standard that numbers numbers were created because of the need to count things in nature numbers were created because of the need to count things in nature so why when we are using that number if you want to count something we have to use that number 1 2 3 like that isn't it so about that number what you had studied yes the how you have to read the number how you have to read the number and what is the place value of the number what is the place place value of that number that you that all you had studied in your fifth standard so integers means that is a group of number about the integers we are going to study in this chapter are you ready shall i start yes here this session i am going to teach that natural integers so integers means what is the mean by integers before that i would like to explain what is the meaning of natural number what is mean by whole numbers so natural numbers what is the meaning of natural numbers natural numbers are a part of the number system which includes all the positive integers from 1 to infinity so that natural number it is a group of number and it includes the number or it includes that all positive number it includes all the positive numbers and what from it will start from 1 it will start from 1 the in natural number will start from 1 to infinity infinity means that last number we can't see that last number of that positive integers we can't see so the natural number will start from 1 natural number will start from 1 for example here 1 2 3 100 101 1000 1200 1, this all will come under positive integers and this all number numbers are natural numbers so children tell me what is the first number of natural number the natural number will start from which number 1 so that is the first number of natural number okay that is the smallest natural number smallest natural number is what 1 so natural number clear now can i go to next next one is whole numbers next one is whole numbers the set of all natural numbers together with zero together with zero is the set of whole numbers so all natural number will come here at the same time one number will come as here additional that number is what zero so get zero 1 2 3 4 5 so these all number will come under whole number group so see here the whole number will start from zero the whole number will start from zero all natural number plus one number is extra here that number is zero so this all numbers will come under whole numbers so that natural number and whole number natural number will start from 1 whole number will start from 0 that is the one and mainly main main difference between natural number and whole numbers got it now so children tell me now that the whole number means what all natural number will come and one number will come that is extra number that is what that is what zero so that zero plus all natural number that will come under which group whole numbers group got it now so children tell me now what is the the small number the smallest whole number is what zero the whole number will start from whole number will start from zero natural number will start from one don't forget okay natural number will start from one whole number will start from zero and that last number of natural number also we can't say whole number what is the last number we can't say so that is called what infinity that we can say that is infinity that means we can't say okay understood now so natural number whole number can i go to next next one is 
in teachers so this is the name of our chapter this is name of our chapter that is called what integers that is integers so integers means it is also group of number but here what will come positive numbers zero negative numbers together form a group of numbers that is called what group of integers so here three kind of number will come positive number will come zero also will come negative number also will come so positive numbers zero negative numbers together form a group of numbers called the group of integers okay so integers means positive number zero negative number it will come under which group integers okay for example see here minus 2 minus 1 this one see here children here minus 2 this one minus 2 how you can read how you have to read minus 2 this one is minus 1 0 1 2 3 like this it will it will go okay so these numbers are called integers so what is the meaning of positive numbers what is the meaning of negative number i will teach you now are you ready positive numbers see here children positive numbers and these positive numbers here that in bracket one sign i have given here that is what plus sign so positive numbers that what is the sign plus sign okay this one you have to read positive this one you have to read that positive see here there are increasing numbers like 1 2 3 above 0 so that above 0 which numbers are there that numbers are called what positive numbers that numbers are called positive numbers that means plus 5 that is the positive number plus 10 that is positive numbers okay and next one is what is means more than 0 that numbers are called what positive numbers next one is negative numbers of negative number what is mean by negative number when we put minus sign see here minus sign here i have given minus sign before any number so before any number if minus sign is there that number that number obtained is less than zero it is called a negative number it is called a negative number so this one obtained is less than zero and more than zero that above zero which numbers that is a positive number less than zero that group of numbers are called what negative number and this negative number in front of when we are writing that negative number in front of that number you have to put a sign minus see here minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 how you have to read this one minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and this all number will come under which group negative group this all number will come under negative group children understood now can you go to next this one a plus sign is generally not written before positive number so already i have told here positive sign positive number what is the sign plus what is the sign plus so plus 5 this plus 5 will come under which group positive number group suppose instead of plus 5 i have written uh, if i am writing here 5 that 5 will come positive number group or negative number group only 5 there is no sign plus sign is not there minus also it is not there so that 5 will come under positive number group so that is the see here the plus sign is generally not written before positive number okay if only number is there 3 the 3 will come under positive number group 10 10 will come under positive group so it is not necessary to write a plus sign in front of positive number okay next one is However, it is necessary to write the minus sign of any negative number. But the negative number we can't write without sign. Negative number we can't write without sign. So, if that minus 1, negative number how we go to write? That minus sign it should be there. It is compulsory. Okay. Minus 3, minus 5, minus 10 like that only we go to write. So, without sign we can't write negative number without sign we can't write negative number got it now next one is third point see here children zero does not have any sign 
zero does not have any sign so positive number without sign also we can write and negative number with sign only we have to write zero number zero that zero does not have any sign zero there is no positive sign there is no negative sign there is only zero only we have to we have to write can you go to next yes children see here showing integers in the number line it is a number line here one line is here see here children it's a line that line that line is called number line already we had studied in our fifth standard how we got to make a number line line we have to make the center of the line we got to mark zero we got to mark zero see here the center of the line here zero is here and that line we have to and that both side that zero first you have to make afterwards on both side of the zero and that line you have to make a you have to divide equal part equal distance you have to make a point see here here like this it is marked isn't it on both side of the zero we have to make a mark like this in equal distance so here zero the right hand side of the zero the right hand side of the zero we have to right hand side of the zero we have to write positive number left hand side of the zero we have to right see here children right hand side i made it here i am writing uh, i have written here positive numbers and the left left hand side of the zero i have and here negative numbers so see here children so this is the number line first you have to make a zero and next one is or that zero that point is called what origin that point is called origin right hand side i have written here positive number it will start from plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 and it will continue it will go okay next one is left hand left hand side minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 okay after the zero i will start from here minus 1 minus 2 minus minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 it will go like this okay so now got it now how we got to make how we got to make number line got it see here make a line in between zero that is called origin right hand side we have to right positive number left hand side we go to right negative numbers see here children show the numbers minus 7 and minus sorry minus 7 and plus 8 on the number line minus 7 plus 8 you have to show these numbers on the number line children like this sum it is not there in your exercise so that exercise question like this sums are not there but you can expect for your exam okay so you listen carefully here this you have to make a number line and you have to show this particular number on that number line how you have to solve this sum first you have to make a number line here number line already i given here number line you know that how we have to make line in center you have to make origin that is zero both side you have to mark in equal distance at equal distance you have to mark right hand side you have to write yes positive number left hand side you have to write negative numbers okay and here see zero i have written here next one is plus 1 it will start from plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 like that and you have to show what positive number which number you have to show here plus 8 so this is the plus 8 and next one new number which number you have to show minus 7 minus 7 so see here after 0 which number we got to write which number yes minus 1 after 0 left hand side you have to start at minus 1 and right hand side which number you have to write after 0 plus 1 positive 1 and left hand side negative 1 okay so minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and it will go like this and minus 7 is here understood now yes children like this if i am if i'll give any two three number like this positive number and negative number can you show on that number line understood now yes very good next one is children so this practice set 4 this is the third chapter and practice set 4 here it contains three question and here first question is see here classify the following numbers as positive numbers and negative numbers 
so here some group of number it has given and you have to write what you know here some numbers are there you have to classify the numbers that is positive or negative so see here children first one is minus 5 first one is minus 5 so here minus sign is there that is called what that is the negative number very good plus 4 plus 4 is there so this one will come come under positive number next one is minus 2 minus 2 is positive number or negative number can you tell yeah. yes it is a negative number 7 so here there is no sign 7 there is no sign so here it is what it will come 7 is the positive number or negative number yes positive number already i have told here and see told here 7 it here in between that in front of that 7 there is no sign so that will come under positive number group plus 26 that will come what positive group minus 49 yes negative number minus 37 is negative number 19 that is positive number minus 25 that will come under negative number plus 8 yes very good positive number 5 that is no sign so it will go yes it will go under positive number group minus 4 minus 4 negative number minus 12 yes it is a negative number 27 27 will come under yes positive number positive number understood this one so now you got a clear idea what is the positive number and what is the negative number so this is the answer for that first question okay and next sum next sum is that already i have told here practice it for three questions are there first question is that is over second one is give one below are the temperatures in some cities so here some cities and the temperature also it, is, it has given here write them using the proper sign okay so already i have told here about zero negative number means yes very good below zero so here place shimla that is temperature is 7 degree celsius below zero so here which sign will come which number will come yes negative 7 that means minus 7 degree celsius next one is lake that is 12 degree celsius below zero so that is minus 12 degree celsius delhi 22 degree celsius above zero above zero means here what will come yes very good plus 22 will come so above zero that positive number will come below zero very good negative sign will come okay and nagpur 31 degree celsius above zero so here what is the sign plus 31 degree celsius got it now yes see here this is the answer for second one this is the answer for second one now third question see here write the numbers in the following examples using the proper sign first one is our submarine is at a depth of 512 means 512 meters below sea level 512 meters below sea level below sea level means what will come yes it will come means less than zero that means depth of 512 meters below zero below sea level that means less than zero so here what sign will come yes negative sign that means minus 512 meter answer what you have to write it minus 512 meter you have to write with unit okay children always in maths you have to write with unit that answer it should be with unit otherwise you will that half mark will be reduced okay so always you have to mind student here you have to write with unit next one is the highest of mount everest the highest peak in the himalayas is 8848 meters so the height so above the ground so here what will come height means here positive only will come that means it is this number is above zero level okay so that is positive sign positive that means plus 8848 meter next one is a kite is flying at a distance of 120 meters that means 120 meters from the ground from the ground that distance so above zero so here which sign will come yes positive sign will come positive 
hundred and twenty meter. That means plus hundred and twenty meters. Next one is the tunnel is at a depth of two meters under the ground. Under the ground means here positive sign will come or negative sign will come. Yes, negative sign will come. It is less than zero. So here negative two. That means minus two meter. Minus two meter will come. Okay, children, see here. See here. This is the. This are the answer for that third sum. So children. Today, what we studied about the numbers. That means positive number, natural number. Natural number will start from one. Whole number will start from zero. And next one is integers. What is the meaning of integers? Is a group of number. This group includes positive number, negative number, and zero. Positive number. What is the sign? Plus. And negative number. Yes, minus sign is there. And zero. What is the sign of zero? Yes, there is no sign. There is no sign. And the next one, number line. How we got to make a number line? How we got to show the integers under number line? That also I taught today, isn't it? I hope you understood now, isn't it? Yes. And practice set first exercise that practice set four I had completed in this session. So children, I hope you understood. Yes. Yes, children. Thank you, Saira.